going to cook the mung beans because I honestly feel I want to cook this. I even just uh, texted Dimitri and asked him to bring the ingredients that I can use to cook this because we don't have anything else other than this and the, how do you call it, the um, coconut milk. I just want to boil them so that by the time it's coming from the gym, it will be boiled. I just want to cook it together with rice and I think it's just going to work out perfect. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to at least soak them on the water because soaking helps a lot uh, when it comes to beans. I just love doing that because I just, uh, you know, it's also part of like cleaning them, but at least they will settle down before I do that. You don't have to do this by the way, it's just a step that I love doing. And then I'm going to measure. I think only one cup of this is going to be good because we are only the two of us. It's actually going to be a lot, but it also tastes nicer a day after. This is more than enough. And then we'll soak it here for like 15 minutes. And then we'll do the next one. Honestly, loves. as a matter of fact, today I don't look good. Honestly, I really don't look good, but it's because I'm just trying to unpack everything. I've honestly unpacked everything and it feels so good because I like my space being very, very clean. I'm also trying to edit video as well. I'm trying to edit the video from Santorini. I know that's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of time. I'm also working on my hair website. It's almost finalized and that has been taking the most out of my days even while I was vacationing. But you know, adulting, involves all of this and you have to do what you have to do even my uh, my washing machine is making a lot of noise right now because uh, of course so much going on i even woke up and tried to clean up uh, let me show in the morning the first thing i also did is that i changed the beddings i cleaned up the room i cleaned up everything like everything in my house is so clean right now and that feels really rejuvenating this room is also a little bit in order because i like when everything is just where it belongs for the time being before i start like doing the deep cleaning and this is where we have all the mess all the mess is here i'm just trying to clean up everything we've had on the vacation remember i had like a couple of vacations like from ibiza to santorini so there's really so much i have to do honestly but you know it's part of uh you know part of being a woman and a wife and everything else my love i just came back from the shower and now I want to continue with my cooking. Let's do this. They've been on here for like more than 15 minutes, which is also okay. So good thing is that mung beans they boil so quickly so it's never a problem honestly
removed it while we were on a vacation in Santorini because I hate like when the growth shows like you have blonde hair and black hair at the bottom and you're not able to color it when you're on vacation and it just felt like also when I'm wearing the wigs you can literally see the blonde on it because I didn't want to wear a wig cap because it was so hot and very warm there but other than that I had a very very we had a very beautiful vacation together me and my husband it was amazing sometimes you just need to get out of you know usual scene be outside and enjoy yourself and come back to your normal routine and that's what I've been trying to do the other day I showed you guys what I was cooking and by mistake I forgot to put like um, the outcome of how the video i mean the food looks like but at least you have a footage of the photo it was so yummy that i forgot myself and i forgot to also you know like record all of that and we were also having a very good time because my sister-in-law came and we were having a very good time together and i think i got lost in the moment but anyways today it's another day and i feel so happy the weather is good today honestly for fall season having like 23 degrees it's a blessing this is something we don't get most of the time and I want to do something extra with you because I've already done my makeup. I didn't want to do my makeup on the screen because I felt it would take so much time. I had this done yesterday. I had like uh, the rollers put on my hair because I feel when I want to wear, I just want like to wear my wig with a little bit of curls. This is my usual black hair, but not the long version. It's like the one that has like layers on it. So I just put the rollers to stay there until the day I will decide to wear the hair. Then I can just calm the curls out maybe i can show you how one of the curls look like but no we'll do that when i'm wearing the hair i think that's better i also wanted to show you what else is new on royal luxury hair extensions not really new but just something new for me i wanted to show you what they have so for example i have this uh, blonde uh, pixie wig i feel like pixies are so in right now and i feel if you're a person who doesn't like lace wigs you don't know how to like you know do baby hairs and something of sort i'm also not so good with baby hair sometimes it's a he sometimes it's a miss anyways um I got this because now we are also entering the cold season and during the cold season I don't want like sometimes long hair I just want something I can wear very quickly and be out and this is one of that I think it looks good with this makeup honestly yeah so it's like this I think this with like dangling earrings Ooh! oh my god yes show me show me so you see if you're a person who's not um, really good with lace i think this is perfect for you let me put 
this here so that you're able to see me very well there we go we have that i actually should uh put a little bit of a dark powder on my area here oh i got a lot of tan even dimitri has a lot of tan right now we were basking on the sun almost every other time so yeah i think this looks really good especially at the back nothing is showing i assume i can't see myself on the mirror but i just assume it looks very good so if you're a person who's not uh, very good with lace i think this is good also i i assume some people while they're working maybe you work in the food industry or you work in the health industry sometimes they don't allow you to have like really long hair and i think this is just a wear and go it's also available in black and burgundy but for me i feel the blonde and uh, the blonde and the burgundy i mean the blonde and the black are my most favorite but some people also just love burgundy hair where's the front yeah let me wear the black one wow Good. I think I'm gonna wear this today honestly I want to wear pixie today I don't want no stress no, I think I didn't wear it correctly let me wear it now where's the comb we'll fix the situation a little bit with the comb yeah it's just a wear and go hair no stress, just something you wear and you're and you're gone. Ooh, yes, girl. This is good. I think even with a hair scarf, just to accessorize it, it would also make it look really good. I love it. On the back the blonde one is also very nice but because i think i'm wearing a pink dress this should should be also good i'm just going to add accessories dress up and do my second video because i'm supposed to do another video i'm supposed to do unboxing for louis vuitton i've been keeping my my louis vuitton boxes here and i've not been opening them up i'm like ah, should i do this video or not should i just uh, do this or do that i've been buying so many things during summer but I didn't even do um, unboxing, but I feel I really have to now because they're also good for engagement, right? Sometimes it's good to show the, your highs, your lows, your everything. Anyways, my loves, I'll see you soon. Let's add more bronzer. Let's add more bronze, I think, because I don't have a, a really dark foundation. I'm just going to add the bronzer just to make the neck match with my entire body i don't know should we add more here oh my god that hair literally steals my forehead are you even east african if you don't have a big forehead like this i don't know they blend blend and blend Go dress up put the wig and look cute guys so this is the final outlook of everything i'm wearing this pink shirt dress that's what i'm about to um unbox there behind me and uh what do you guys think i was thinking to add an accessory i don't know if it's okay or not i'm thinking like if i play around with it bring some character to the outfit what do you guys think if I do that or I was also thinking this but I think this is also nice but not really wow you know what I mean like not with my outfit but it would also work so either without or I'm thinking this is just bringing some frankiness to it I think I'm gonna settle with this one I think this is nice the earrings I think gonna be nice let me shoot for a thumbnail because this is one thing we always forget when we're creating content we always forget to make a thumbnail that's the first thing i'm about to do 
let me hold my this one and then I put my camera on it so I'm just going to put the phone on this folder Oof. what's happening on this I'll just use my front camera but I have to look for like the nicest background I think I'm gonna work with this area over here because the lighting is very good here the Sun is literally on my face this all what a mess so much mess going on honestly the light is done and I feel like I put the light over there let me show you uh, I put the light over there because I feel I wanted to do it there but I feel it's so busy it's honestly very busy and I just want like a clean background at least my camera is clean so far I'm just going to create like a, my face and then I put the bags on the table and just take a nice shot and I have like two grids that's what we're about to do I put the phone over there let me take you behind the scenes my house so I'll just take sit on this Put it on timer. Let me take you closer to it. So, because I just want mainly my face, let me put the light closer. I need to look happy. Okay, that's cute. One other one. Okay, that's something. So I have this. I think this is like my most favorite one. If I edit that one, it's going to be beautiful. good so now let me shoot the video i honestly got a second thought and i feel maybe i should also do like you know just in case just in case i don't like my thumbnail because this also happens many times but let me do it in a way that um it's youtube size so i think youtube size should be that size over there and then i hold the bag you know be useful be useful with your space very important so I can uh, but my face is not simple so let me put the light here so that it bounces if the light bounces from there it's good for me or maybe I just put the entire light on my face Fix the light. Let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to the light. So the light is really too much for me on my face. So sometimes what I do is I put it there so that the light reflects back on that other side. Yes. Like that. Is that good? Okay. Maybe I can even make it stand because I love the 
recharging. Oh, that was so good. Let me try another one. Problem is sometimes Probably sometimes you get one photo and you never get it back. You guys are not able to see anything, so let's put this over here. Oh, multitasking today. Oh, the best, the best, we're done. So immediately I just have to like favorite it. The minute I, let me come closer. I favorite it and then um, I check that one. Good, but not so sure about it. You can even edit just with iPhone. You come here and then you go original. You can also do Vivid, you can also decrease or increase i think that's a, oh that's cute actually uh-huh then you come to shadows you remove the shadows contrast you contrast your skin a little bit of brightness a little bit of color uh, sharpness sometimes is good and just like that our photo is really good Actually, that's very nice. Even nicer than this one, I think. Uh, that one not. So much shadow. Not so happy there. Okay. I loved this one. Which, which one had I liked? There's a picture I'd favorited. This one, I think, yeah. Come here. Vivid. Not so much, though. Light shadow, contrast, brightness, a little bit of saturation, and there we go. Just like that. This is cute. Oh, this is good. And then, just before I go, let me take a picture of these ones with, like, without anything. And then that so I will greed I will greed all of them I'll show you afterwards
so this is another day and uh when is it today it's on a thursday so i'm quickly just going to the city center because i feel i really need to get my nails done but i don't have an appointment i hope i will get an appointment i'm also carrying here my wig because i want to take it to the hair salon so that they can blow dry it it got uh water when i was in ibiza when they threw the water on me you can go check on that vlog so i washed it and now i'm taking it there for cleaning so cleaning more hair so there's that one there um this one uh it's the curly one i cleaned it and all that there's the other one there as well looks like today is hair care day so let's head out let me fix that towel at the back for us i hadn't checked the weather but it looks like it's going to rain but at least i have an umbrella here with me as well because by the time i'm coming back maybe in an hour or so it's going to rain so we'll see about that <laughs> autumn weather my god warm hot days are gone gone until next year my god but i love the seasons i've adjusted to it honestly honestly all of this just reminds me of when i was new to europe and people would tell me oh now the weather is better it's not so cold it was during spring and then as soon as i arrived i was like i need to wear a jacket you guys are saying it's warm but it's not but look at me now i've adjusted to it it's crazy but winter stays for too long cloudy days just finished doing my makeup hubby came from the gym after working out and i just wanted to show you a quick ootd for what i am wearing as part today this is also my bag beautiful so gorgeous we dress like this pink dress actually it's not pink it's just so colorful and floral it's actually a handmade dress that i ordered a couple of it's i got it a couple of months ago and uh i mean like it's early this year and i'm having this glittery pink bag with me i am going to meet up with tony and the rest of the people because we're having miss africa belgium in brussels oh, oh. When you're supposed to Cause it keeps me on my toes It kinda makes me want you more I get a kick from going out When you don't want me to Knowing you're at home all mad I know I shouldn't feel like that I do it, you do it, we do it All the time Pushing the buttons until we both Lose our minds Why can't we let Ourselves play it safe just for a while Cause baby I know it, you know it, we know it Deep inside We too addicted to friction to change our minds We so in love but babe it's not enough to survive Cause it's your way love, love, love That makes us do all the stupid shit that we do All of the stupid shit that we do
with a stranger So I do it to get on your nerves Cause I know that you really hurt So tell me is it love, 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 love When you're provoking jealousy Like you're always Baby 
remember what happened? Remember stepping through the club, right? Did you ain't turn it up, right? She was rocking through the song, you were looking all along, you even touched your ding dong, right? So tell me what's in your face, plants? When you put your hands in her pants? Or maybe when you hit the guard and beat in that car, get back in like a rock star. If you act like a douche, of course you'll be a douche, yeah. If you act like a douche, of course you'll be a douche, yeah. Mesdames, Messieurs, chers membres du public, 
Je vous parle non seulement en tant que femme congolaise, mais surtout en tant que femme africaine et femme ancienne, ayant un objectif précis pour notre beau continent, l'Afrique. Avez-vous déjà entendu parler de la drépanocytose En néerlandais, sickle cell anomie. Sickle cell anomie is a redelijk, onbedekt, onbekende erfelijke aandoening, waarbij puntvormige, sickle-vormige cellen gevormd worden. Les globules rouges forment une sorte de banane qui bloque la circulation du sang et donc le transport de l'oxygène dans les membres et les organes. Cela cause une réduction de croissance. Vos rôles de risques aux infections sont plus mocloques, heart problématiques, angiopathie, anémie, l'AVC, la mort. Cette maladie, elle est déjà présente dès la naissance. Les enfants montrent des symptômes déjà à l'âge de 4 mois. Vous vous imaginez 4 mois. Annuellement, plus de 300 000 enfants sont victimes de drépanocytose. Comment 26 000. C'est le nombre de morts chaque année déclarées par l'Organisation internationale des migrations. Chaque jour, des milliers de personnes, qui sont nos frères, nos sœurs, nos parents, se lancent dans un dangereux périple à travers la Méditerranée, en quête d'un avenir meilleur, mais finissent engloutis dans les profondeurs de la mer. Laissant derrière eux des familles dévastées et des rêves brisés. J'ai été à la rencontre de quelques rescapés pour entendre leurs témoignages et le premier défi majeur auquel ils sont confrontés est le voyage lui-même. Abou, 30 ans, a décidé avec neuf amis de se lancer dans cette aventure. Ils ont tout préparé la veille. Ils n'ont rien dit à leur famille car ils voulaient leur faire la surprise. Mais ils ont tous péri dans des bateaux surchargés en mauvais état. Abou est le seul qui a réussi à arriver à destination finale. Ensuite, il y a Awa, 20 ans, qui me dit qu'elle a été violée, vendue, torturée, et puis laissée pour mort dans le désert. Et elle me dit que c'est Dieu qui l'a sauvée. Vous avez sûrement dû entendre l'histoire, vous avez sûrement dû entendre l'histoire de Pato, qui a perdu sa femme et sa fille, morte de soif dans le désert. Et pour être ensuite réduit en esclave. 350 euros. C'est le prix moyen d'un migrant assez grand et fort pour assumer des travaux agricoles. Toutes ces histoires ne seraient jamais arrivées s'il n'était jamais parti. Dites-moi, ce voyage, est-ce qu'il en valait la peine Il est crucial de rappeler que ces personnes ne sont pas des chiffres mais des individus ayant des rêves, des espoirs et des aspirations. Il est de notre responsabilité collective de trouver des solutions durables pour les aider à s'épanouir. Nous devons comprendre que l'Afrique ne se développera que par elle-même. Nous devons investir en Afrique. Nous devons exploiter nos terres. Et quand même souvent le dire mon père, la solution de l'Afrique se trouve en Afrique et entre les mains des... La solution face à cette vague de réfugiés, c'est nous. Oui, c'est nous. Encourageons notre prenariat en Afrique. J'encourage également la diaspora et tout le monde d'ailleurs à parrainer un projet en Afrique. Je travaille actuellement avec une ASBL qui s'appelle Main dans la main, qui se lie à d'autres ASBL en Afrique pour ensemble créer une initiative et apporte à une centaine de personnes ayant un commerce, un appui technique, humain et financier. 
Alors ensemble, nous avons le pouvoir de transformer cette tragédie en un élan de solidarité et d'action. Ensemble, nous pouvons créer un monde où personne n'est contraint de risquer sa vie pour trouver refuge. Ensemble, brisons les chaînes de la tragédie pour trisser un avenir où l'espoir triomphe, où chaque voyage vers un nouveau départ est empreint de sécurité et de dignité. Alors vous l'aurez compris, mon projet n'est pas d'aller leur donner à manger, mais de leur offrir un avenir. You don't even know my name But that's okay, I can't blame you You've got better things to worry about Like kissing strangers when you go out Spending time with all your friends Wish I had
inclus dans cette campagne promotionnelle pour Miss Africa. La troisième dauphine de ce parcours extraordinaire, exceptionnel. Ce qui va suivre aussi. La deuxième, c'est le numéro 3 pour l'esprit. Alors là, c'est évidemment, je la cherche, la neuf. On a besoin de ces valeurs, me tourne, et c'est la 4 en fait. darling so it's been a couple of days since i actually had a conversation with you guys because i even feel guilty for not starting the video with me introducing myself and you might have stumbled upon my videos without knowing me and they're like huh why didn't we get an intro or something so my name is kiki and i hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far because we actually had a chance to go to uh, Miss Africa Belgium and one of my friends was contesting for of course for the Miss Africa Belgium and we went there it was good vibes honestly this is the first event that I've gone in Belgium and planned by African people who live in diaspora I mean African people who live in Belgium of course and you know Tony was also part of it part of planning programming all of that and <laughs> you know he always tells me about this event and because we had a pandemic previously, uh, the last one I think was in 2019 and in 2019 I was still struggling to find my way in Belgium, I was still very new and I didn't know a lot. I think at that point I was also not even close to Tony, my manager. So yes, it was very nice, very well organized and then when the event was done we actually went to Brussels city centre with the new couples that we met there. and. You know, we got in touch and we decided, you, you know what, let's go eat. Even though I was not even hungry or anything, I was like, you know what, I love the vibes. It's past midnight, let's do something. And me and my girls, we were struggling in Brussels to walk with our six inch high heels, but we did that for our husbands, you know what. <laughs> oh my God. And you know, like uh, in Brussels center, like it's so difficult to walk with high heels. It's actually the first time for me to do that because every time I know I'm going to a big city in Belgium or a big city in Europe, I like being comfortable with either kitten heels. If it's not kitten heels, then I would rather just have my pair of sneakers, which are very comfortable. So we did that. And I'm telling you guys, it was so funny because, you know, we had to be, you know, at some point even Dimi was carrying me on his back. Of course, a guy has to do that. You know what? <laughs> it has to be done if it has to be done. And we had our lovely time. We didn't find a place to eat or drink, but we uh, stumbled upon um, just a kebab place. We entered there. The neighboring place was a bar, so the music was nice. We could hear music from the neighboring bar. And we were just talking, we ate there, had a few drinks, and then we came back home. We actually arrived at home around 4 in the morning. Yes, so that was uh, just about that day. And then uh, the few days after that, I actually wanted to do my nails, but I haven't been able to make them because I honestly wanted to first get my nail cured before I do anything 
and then i can just go fix my nails anytime maybe the coming week the good thing is that they're like nude and nude nails you cannot see if they're you know they're not really perfect that's one thing i like about nude nails so yeah um that's what we did what else happened actually i don't think there's much that happened in the past few days i've just been busy catching up with my work catching up with what i do best today i've tried my best to edit this video as a matter of fact this is the last clip that i will be adding to the video before i do the outro and yeah i've been very productive today i don't know why it's not even like one of my best days today because i'm not feeling so well but i like keeping myself busy so that i continue to do something else and i don't focus on what my body is telling me to focus to or with so yeah that's good i also wanted to show you another newbie from rare luxury hair extensions so if you're a person that loves knotless braids i have a wig here from rare luxury hair extensions that's a knotless blonde wig as you guys can see the lace is very good it also has an elastic band for protection of course and i really can't wait to wear this one probably on the next video i will be wearing the wig but for more information if you need the hair you know where to get it and of course go serve yourself enjoy treat yourself um it's winter time almost winter time and sometimes you might need something that's with braids because they're so easy to maintain it's not like sometimes what i'm wearing right now but this is also not high maintenance and i also love it even when i'm just indoors it's perfect so yes this is the vlog here almost done i feel so proud of myself honestly i've done a lot today and i'm really proud of myself i can't wait for this video to go up and of course my darlings if you've enjoyed watching this video kindly hit the notification bell like this video share it with your friends and hopefully i will see you on the next one in the time.